It occurs to me that an eddy, a whirlpool effect, is the movement of the blue light energy around the globe of this planet Earth. This is completely separate from Earthling roots. Artificial intelligence is driving and amplifying the speed of this world, made up of fragments of incomplete stories, facts, fiction, surmise, guessing, falsifying, and distortions too quick to catch. Subliminal imaging, subliminal imagining, violent images, catastrophics, While radio signaling may not be entirely separate from our earthly roots, the radio signaling sphere has certainly expanded in range and density. Like a new thatched roof or cyber crown on top of the ionosphere, the 5G bubble expands. My radio and my own ears can receive now from further realms of accidental cooperation and unheard of propagation of waves and a new complex of communal mass references. Short wave and medium wave radio captures recorded and mixed live in the Mesquite Mountains are the source and subject of my work here that you hear in this release on the Mahorka label from Bulgaria. With my radio captures I express a wish to reinscribe my experience on the skies and a desire to transmit my own reception amid the virtual and real celestial beings and to share in the existence of them all with listeners, collaborators, and simply reflect on what all of this entails. Radio was one of the ways I was getting to know the place where I was confined during the summer of the plague year of 2020, on the border between Poland and the Czech Republic. Culturally, connection to humanity reduced to invisible waves. Naturally, an admixture with foreign yet unalienable earthly experience was a continual communion. Stream, trees, berry, bushes, birds, bees, wasps, snakes, deer, rain, fog, moon, sun, trees, humans, often distances, cutting, motors, megaphones, planes, Ceremony? Sports? The mysteries of lockdown, guessing over distances. The effort to know a place deeply is ultimately an expression of the human desire to belong, to fit somewhere, writes the naturalist Barry Lopez. The determination to know a particular place in my experience is constantly, consistently, rewarded, and every natural place to my mind is open to being known. And somewhere in this process, a person begins to sense that they themselves are becoming known, so that when they are absent from that place, they know that place misses them. When I would slip between two trees or four in the screen, that brings my microphones through the thickets shyly. I often wonder who would take note of my passage. An owl's feather on the hill felt less like a random molting and more like a thoughtful gift. I did not feel necessary and I felt somehow integrated and stillness belongingness would follow in the space between abandoning too many thoughts and dwelling on the margins of the senses, alert and calm.